Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2015 Queenie Awards at Quinnipiac University. Here is where students present their films, films that will provoke our, our feelings, our thoughts, they will make us feel happy, they will make us feel sad, they will erase stereotypes and they will at the end push the human for race forward. Please stay with us and let me welcome you once again to the Queenies, the 2015 Queenie Awards at Quinnipiac University. Thank you. Kelly, who's arriving right now? So here we are at the 2015 Quinnies. So people are filing in, the students are coming to watch the films, the filmmakers, directors are here. You know, there's a lot of prizes to give out, a lot of food here, so we're going to have a good time today. Kelly, let me tell you that Declan Powers is here and he's going to tell us a little bit about his new film, 48 Hours. Declan, first of all, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. good. Are you excited to be here? Uh, yeah. 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 So tell us a little bit about 48 Hours. What challenges did you face while shooting the film? What was the greatest uh, challenge, adversity during this process? Um, okay, well, 48 Hours is a short, silent film that I made during my sophomore year at Quinnipiac. It handles a rough subject matter. It's about a man who, in 48 Hours, is trying to find a reason not to end his life, and basically, there's kind of the Hitchcockian bomb on the bus thing where it's like there's a phone that's literally counting from 48 hours down and we follow his whole process. Wow. Um, the biggest challenge of it for me was in terms of um, getting the cinematography right. There were a lot of things where um, the camera is tracking motion and because of that some of it is a bit shaky but on the other hand um, the lighting and cinematography in general, I'd say, is the best work that I've done. So out of all the projects that I've made, this is the one that I'm the most proud of. Wow, that sounds really exciting. Yeah. And tell me, tell me uh, how long is this film? 48 hours? Uh, it's a short film, so it runs in at about four or five minutes. All right, so we will be able to finish it today. Yeah. yeah. Declan, thank you very much for your time. Oh, I hope you, you enjoy the Queenies. Thank you. All right. all right. Kelly, we'll go back to you to see who, who else is here in the red carpet. So it sounds like Declan has a really interesting film coming up. So as for the food we have here, there's Chipotle catering. I am super jealous. I might have to dig in there. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm going to try. There's popcorn. There's a cotton candy machine over there. It's really interesting. I'm trying to watch everyone make their own cotton candy. It's a riot, actually. So back to you, Antonio. Kelly, I hope that Chipotle is doing great because here we are doing great, too, with Matt Gravitsky, the main force of this of his new film, Do I Wanna Know? So tell us, Matt, do we really wanna know? Yeah. All right, so that was a short answer. Can you tell us a little bit about what, what it was like to shoot this short film of yours? A music video, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a music video to the song Do I Wanna Know by Arctic Monkeys. And we uh, started the project at the beginning of the first semester and we just finished it two weeks back. So. It took us many months to complete it, and I'm very happy with it, though. I'd have to say it's probably one of the best projects I've ever made. That sounds really exciting, because I do really want to know, and I want to watch that film. Matt, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. We're going back with you, Kelly. So I am here with Megan and Christy. Megan wrote and directed a film today, and Christy is her star. So I have to comment, though, on the dress. Where did you get this dress? Um, I got it from Her Universe, uh, off uh, I think Hot Topic or Think Geek or something. It's David Pen David Tennant, uh, Tenth Doctor cosplay every day. Oh, nice. Okay, guys, I didn't get that, so I'm glad you explained it to me. It's very yeah. unique, though. <laughs> I love it. So, what is your film about today? So, my film uh, is an ode to silent films. Um, it's Chrissy is sad about her everyday life, and then she finds that my dining room is actually the silent film, and I play like a Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin type role, and we have a lot of silent fun. That sounds really awesome and silent. <laughs> yeah. And I love your outfit as well with the florals and she has a nice little eyelet shoes on. So what inspired this outfit today? Um, Target. <laughs> Target is good inspiration always. Yeah, um, I don't know. I just saw it, liked it, thought it was a good choice. I mean, it matches It matches outside perfectly. It's so hot out today and it's, just, it's very springy. It's almost summer though, you know? So, well, I hope you guys have fun today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Back to you. Kelly, those girls look, look really nice in their dresses. Here I find myself with Patrick Lassie with his new feature, What Happens in a Day. So, Patrick, please tell us a little bit, what happens in a day? What, what do you want the audience to know about your days or everyone's days? Um, not so much, well, 
it's I guess it's my days a little bit. I just took a bunch of uh, footage from multiple days and interviewed people. Um, I don't know. It's just I made it just to make people feel happy, I guess, and optimistic about life. That sounds awesome. Um, how long did it take you to shoot this film? Uh, well, technically, I started shooting it in the summer with the GoPro, but I didn't know I was gonna make it into something until about winter of this year. But like since from since I started filming in the summer, it has been kind of gone through until about two weeks ago. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Thank you very much, <laughs> my man. Thanks, Antonio. Um, Kelly. Meanwhile, we're going back with you to see who else is here. All right, thanks, Antonio. So I'm here with Brooke Momsen. She directed a film here today. So what exactly is it about? Um, it's about how to impress a girl. And it's actually a how-to video we made for our FBI 212 class. And it's really fun. And it was just kind of a lighthearted, um, like, funny video about how to impress a girl. How'd you get the idea? Um, actually, one of my friends came up with it um, just because we were trying to think of something simple that wouldn't require a lot of props, but that was entertaining for people to watch. Awesome. So, and I see you're wearing a nice <laughs> dress today. So, what, what inspired the look today? Oh, um, I don't know. I've been told it's a kind of Egyptian. I think it's maybe the bracelet. Yeah, I, don't know. I think it's. I think it's a combination: the yeah. necklace, the bracelet. Your eye makeup looks beautiful, oh, by the way. You. Yeah, and I, my bangs cute. got windswept today, but yours yeah. look wonderful. Oh, huh? thank you. Thank you're you welcome. so much. So, have fun today. I will. It's gonna be great. Awesome. Thank you. Kelly, it seems like there are very interesting dresses. Meanwhile, I'm standing right here next to the awards, which are looking really shiny today. And there's an award for best story, there's best, best casting, best sound, best cinematography. Oh man, they look so nice. You know, I think I'm gonna steal one, but shh, don't tell anyone. So those trophies sound pretty awesome, Antonio. I wish I made a film so I could personally have one. So right now, they're giving away the tickets for the raffle for these awesome prizes. So some of the prizes that they're giving out, they're giving out a 40-inch TV, an Xbox One, a $100 Amazon gift card, among a lot of other cool things. Uh, I'm probably going to enter the raffle myself because this is really exciting. Everyone's getting super excited out here. Back to you. Kelly, thank you for your notifications with the prizes. I'm sure someone very special here is going to win that big TV. Meanwhile, I find myself with Alexander Perakov. He's the director, producer, and basically the main creative force behind Living Nightmares. So, Alexander, tell us please a little bit about what challenges did you face while shooting this film? Um, so, Living Nightmares is about uh, floods that happened last summer, last May, in, in Serbia and the former Yugoslavia, where my family's from. One of the main challenges I faced when going over there to do a documentary was finding subjects and a, and a good camera. I had to borrow a camera from a family friend and it actually recorded on tape. So then I needed to go through a conversion process and actually get the files shipped to me so I'd be able to edit it on a Mac because it was converted from tape, which was a little bit of a an annoyance, but it wasn't too bad, and I think um, you don't need an ultra HD camera to make a good film if you have a good idea. Totally, I agree with that. And so, what do you basically want to tell the audience with all this big work of yours? Is there a, like a specific message you want us to know with all this work of yours? Well, you'll see in this film that there's a little bit of a message at the end, but um, essentially just that people can go through all kinds of tragedies and still find some sort of positive light and uh, be able to, to move on and not simply linger on that. And a lot of what some of my previous films have been as well has been kind of human struggle and tragedy and, and, uh, and war. So this is a little bit different. This is more of a natural disaster as it is about floods. Um, but still, it, it, it's based in a little bit of human rights work, which I do do on the side as well, aside from film. Alex, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to see that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Meanwhile, Kelly, we're going back with you. All right, what's up? I'm back, and I'm here with Kara and Summer. So how are you guys? You excited for the Quinnies today? We're so excited. We are so prepared. We're so prepared. It's unbelievable. We tried very hard for tonight. We <laughs> really be, put It's going to be in. a great show. I have to lean down and get to the mic. It's going to be a great show. Yeah. So I have to talk about the outfits. I love how you guys are coordinating with the lips and the black. What Did you plan to look so similar? or? No, just black is the best color that's ever existed. That's, <laughs> also, yep. I'm wearing Express. Yep. I'm really I'm wearing, excited about it. Nice I'm plug wearing, there. Uh, Target clearance. <laughs> so, so Target is popular. We've had other Target outfits here tonight. It's yeah. good. So 
Yeah, right. So how you're involved with the Film Society, both of you, right? So how, what was your role in tonight? In tonight? Tonight, we are the hosts the host. with the most. and yes. uh, We get to present we, the whole event here and yep. be the face of it, which is exciting. Yeah, we don't have any films here personally. But, no. Um, but yeah. hosting duty should be fun. Yeah. Oh, We're yeah, excited. definitely. It should be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys look great, feeling good. Feeling good luck great. tonight, you guys. Feeling great. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You're welcome. <laughs> I can't wait to see Kara and Summer rocking the Queenies tonight. Meanwhile, I find myself with the beautiful, the astonishing Kim Fears, no one else but the president of QFS. Kim, you're like the queen of this club. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what was the process of making this Queenies come to life this year. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, we really wanted to make it bigger than last year, first of all, and that started off with food, surprisingly. Uh, last year we just had popcorn and candy, and this year we wanted to provide something that was a little more exciting to entice people to come, so we got Chipotle here today, which is exciting. I haven't had any yet, but I'd like some. Yeah, it's really good. Um, we also made sure we really pushed advertising this year, which I think we did a great job. We already got twice as many submissions as we did wow. last year, so we're really excited. That's awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great. I am excited as well. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for this to happen. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, You're Kim. Welcome, Antonio. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Kelly, we're going back with you. All right, Antonio. So it looks like everyone's starting to file in, get ready to go. Chipotle's been eaten. The raffle tickets have been put in their buckets. I've had a wonderful time here with all of you today, interviewing the students, and I'm sure their films will be awesome. So we're going to toss it back to Antonio one last time. Thanks, Kelly. Down here, people are starting to take their seats. Many people came to this year's Queenies, and I'm really pleased and impressed to see this happening. And the hosts, Kara and Summer, are getting ready for this. They're ready to rock tonight's show, and we're ready to see who's going home with these amazing prizes over here. Please don't forget to check out these videos at Q30, Q30television.com. Thank you, guys, and enjoy.